back again guys here we are we got the 8.8 up on the stand we're gonna try to do this the ghetto way so the mounting points on this are luckily the cover so i have the diff set up right now to hopefully capture all the fluid down in the bottom we're gonna open this cover up hopefully put the new cover on that chad gave us seal it back up let it sit overnight and cure and then be able to have put this in the car um we do still got to take care of the 8.8 bushings which I actually bought some stock and we're gonna to try to make them ourselves, some solid bushings out of aluminum. Um, we're gonna do that up at A-Star Fabrication tomorrow. Uh, Andy's gonna let us use his lathe and teach me how to make one and then I'm gonna make the last three. So that'll be pretty cool and we'll have solid rear diff mounts, uh, make the car vibrate some more. Hopefully also um, get these done. I would have just ordered the Hasport ones, but unfortunately they have a five to six uh, week back order right now, which is kind of crazy. Um, and I just can't wait that long because we're going to mid Ohio grid life in just over a week and a half. So I, I don't know if I told you guys that, but it's super exciting. We got accepted to drive there and uh, we got to get the car ready for that. Not to mention, I'm also going to pull the head off this car because I'm starting to think that maybe it is a head gasket because even with the swirl pot, it's still push coolant. So I'll just pull the head. Uh, it's not too big of a job to do. Get a new head gasket in there. Call it good. Know we have a brand new head gasket, new ceiling surface, and know that the head gasket is good. And then go from there. So I just got this cover cleaned up. Like I said, uh, we're gonna get this old cover off right now and go from there. All right, got the new cover on. No more stripped out holes, which is cool. We put a fresh coat of paint on this. I decided to paint it black. I've had a clean aluminum look for a while now, but uh, let's get this cover thrown away. Also a surprise rainstorm because it's super hot today. Um, we also didn't lose any fluid changing this cover, which was sweet. So we'll let it cure overnight. Um, we can't put it back in the car until we finish the mounts anyway. Um, maybe we'll call it a day or maybe we'll start pulling the head. I don't know. All right, we got the turbo manifold off, intake manifold off. We're getting ready to start pulling the cam caps. Uh, we put the motor at TDC so we can pull the cams out and hopefully be able to keep the chain where it's at, slide it back in. Um, let's get to it. All right, these are the normal inserts that go into these diff mounts, okay? Two of them blew out. Can't get them from Hasport because it's a five to six week. Wait, so we go to A-Star Fab, buy this big old piece of hogger donger, Adam's favorite, he's gonna try to suck on it. We're gonna make solid mounts, do some sketchy shit. Whoa. All right guys, so we just got done making our mounts. So we were gonna do the flange, how the other bushings were, but instead, I decided to just do this because it was a lot less time consuming. So we just made inserts that slide into here, and then I'm just gonna have Andy weld them in here. So then they'll be completely solid. Don't have to worry about them ever coming out. So, um, sits flat in there. And then uh, we'll just basically have to space the one stud um because i think it might need a little washer because i don't think this is the same thickness that's okay just a little washer it'll make it perfectly fun and uh that's the new custom passport solid dip mounts which uh don't exist i don't believe get the head up ready to get sure. decked here soon and he's gonna deck this and we're gonna just throw it back on it does have some spots where it's uh looks a little maybe possibly worked we checked it with the straight edge but he's gonna deck it and we're gonna gasket slap this motherfucker back together we're not gonna look at the block because i'm sure that thing's fucked up too possibly has some warpage maybe but uh if i can at least get a gasket and the head back on it and it holds for the rest of the year i'll be happy because we got a whole new fresh motor that i was having put together for a spare so we can always throw that in over the winter if we have to but i think this motor will be fine once we throw a gasket on it <clears throat> all right guys next day uh got the head back from andy he decked it uh, kind of see there starting to get the block cleaned up we actually got to pull this front timing cover off <clears throat> so we can retime the block once we get the head set down and uh i've pretty much been cleaning up the top of the block already to get it clean to put the head on it but next we're going to pull this timing cover crank pulley off which is a bitch and then uh we can get in this thing back together and maybe fire it up tonight all right guys just got the head torqued down we got Marcus here. Luckily, he had chat GPT look up the torque sequence and torque specs for the ARP head studs. Right, baby. We're getting ready to put some of the timing chain stuff on. We're going to put one of the other guides back on. And uh, one of the bolts are missing out of this one that we got to put back in. So 
get those bolted back up and then get the chain on, rocker assembly, cams, and time the motor. No way. Yo, we got this shit going. Yeah, intake manifolds on, fuel lines are hooked back up. Uh, motor's timed, hopefully right. Cams are in. Uh, yeah, that looks right. Sure. We'll call it's, it good. It's right. Uh, gotta get some of the other stuff back on. Uh, we got everything underneath the intake manifold plug back in pretty much, which is good. Uh, pretty much all we gotta do now is put this timing cover on, which I wanted to do tonight, but I'm losing some steam. This is power, huh? That transformer just blew outside, you heard? Sorry for that slight interruption there. Uh, the transformer right by my house was making some crazy noises and we lost power. But, we got the cams in. Sorry, I'm covering it up because I'm leaving it like this till the morning. Or, sorry, not till the morning, but till tomorrow because I gotta seal this all up. But, uh, intake manifold's on. You start putting everything else on accessories da 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 but shout out to marcus for keeping me company in the garage tonight because it's rare that somebody comes and hangs out with me in the garage and it's always nice to have company so shout out to marcus yeah it's always a pleasure we got a big mess in here yeah um all right guys got everything back together uh i need to put some water in this thing still but i at least have it ready to where we can start it and make sure everything is good so i think i want to do a test start um, and then I'm gonna add some water. I'm just gonna start to see if it fires and make sure timing sounds like it's right. So let's see how this goes. Wish me luck. Ready? All right, let's see what happens. Try to fire this thing up. All right, guys, what's up? Next day. Uh, so the car seemed good. I've done some hits on the street with it. And went and had Andy make us a little swirl pot holder over there because our mount previously broke. So that, that's nice and sturdy. Um, nice simple little mount. And we got everything hooked back up. So far, it seemed good. Having uh, Andy go back through the tune, make sure everything's all cleaned up and that we're good to go for this weekend. Hopefully our coolant pushing issues are finally over. Uh, fingers crossed because I don't want to have to do another head gasket. And hopefully this was just our issue and the new one seals good. So I'm um, getting ready to go to mid Ohio is why we get everything loaded up. So uh, that'll probably do it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, stay tuned because the next video is going to be lots of cool mid Ohio content. Thanks again for subscribing and all the support the likes. See you guys soon.